Oh my god. Are you guys ever like in a lecture hall and your stomach just starts growling? Yes, all the time, and then everyone just looks at you and judges. Oh, I hate it when embarrassing things happen in class. Oh, tell me about it. Oh my gosh. I was in a discussion the other day and I blew a snot bubble so big. It was so embarrassing. You know, cold and flu season is rough. Oh, I totally get you guys. I mean, I wish people would just like tell you these these things sometimes. Like, I mean, like, you know, it just makes things so much easier than people having to like look at me and I'll be all embarrassed. I mean, okay, so the other day in lecture, my spare dildo accidentally flew out of my backpack, went all the way down the slanted lecture hall and then suctioned to the podium. <laughs> oh my God, I was totally humiliated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's crazy. I know, I mean, but I guess it's like universal though. I mean, people are like so focused on their own insecurities to like care, right? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I guess you could say that. I, I mean, mean yeah, but like, what was worse was when I when I had to go up there and pull it off. I mean, the sound it made echoed louder than anything I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, have you guys ever gone through a full conversation and realized afterwards that you had lipstick all over your teeth, or that your concealer is creased? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, then do I have a story for you? You know, you know makeup powder? Never forget it. Okay. Well, I was in the class the other day, and I dropped a massive bag of flour. It went everywhere. They had to evacuate. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, ugh, people were so judgy. Why did you have a bag of flour? Wait, aren't you allergic to gluten? What? Can you tell me you were using it as makeup powder? Were you using it as makeup powder? I mean, yeah. But like, I was just holding on to it. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, one time I was in a discussion and I had the hiccups and it was so bad my TA sent me to the hall. <coughs> oh no, do you drink water? Yeah. I do. Oh, oh my god. Speaking of water. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of a time when I got a drop of water on me and then I turned into a, rever a reverse mermaid in the middle of my lecture. <laughs> oh my god, boy was that a conversation. <laughs> so Mia, are you are you doing okay? Wait, reverse mermaid? Oh yeah, for sure. It's like it's like when the upper half fish and like the legs are, are, are human, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, cryptid and all, I'm sure everyone has forgotten by now. I mean, yeah, I guess it wasn't like that weird, because like a month earlier, I accidentally scheduled my tattoo appointment at the same time as my lecture, and you know, there's a fee to cancel the appointment, and I had to go to the lecture, so I had the tattoo artist bring all their equipment there, and then we just did it there. Um, yeah, you should have seen the looks I got, but awesome tattoo, though. That was you? I read about that on the news. Yeah, me too. You seem so normal outside of class, though. I'm normal as shit, bro. Yeah. These things just happen to everyone, okay? Mm, no, they don't. Okay, you guys are lying. You're telling me that you've never eaten food that was too spicy, that you exhaled fire? No. <laughs> You've never accidentally summoned a Norse god by staring at your laptop screen for too long? No. Okay. You've never been drafted for war and carried out by the army in the middle of lecture? <laughs> You've never taken Molly before your 9 a.m. lecture and then had to call SafeWalk to walk you home? <laughs> the worst trip sitters ever, by the way. <laughs> no. no. Shit, I, I would stay and argue, but I committed treason earlier this morning and I gotta go cover my tracks, so. <laughs> okay. Woo! Did you see she had broccoli in her teeth? Yeah, what a freak. <laughs> <laughs>